Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. And welcome to Saturday Happenings, which is actually happening on Saturday. Last week I had to do it on Sunday because my Saturday was so busy and I hate doing that. So this time I committed that I would get Saturday Happenings done today, on Saturday, even though it's a little bit later than I would normally put it out there, but it's Saturday. Saturday the 16th of March, actually. It was a phenomenal day. I was super busy. I had so much fun today though, I have to tell you guys. It was so cool. So first of all, this morning I was going to do my Saturday happenings from the car, <laughs> but I didn't want to do it while I was driving because my luck, I would get pulled over and I didn't want to do that. So let me see if I can scoot you up a little bit. Hang on. I'll try to uh, scoop this up. There we go. A little bit higher. Hmm. There. Anyway, I didn't want to get pulled over, so I didn't do it in the car. But the reason I would have done it in the car is because I was on my way over to do one of our extension workshops. I love doing the workshops. And today, the workshop that we did for this month was actually breads and grains. Uh, there's a gluten-free section. It was just really, really cool. I always have so much fun with those. And so my participation was to do equipment. So I showed my Nutramil, talked about different grains, wheat, all that kind of stuff. So that was just a lot of fun. So that's a good time. And then uh, the reason I was busy, then on the way home, I've got a friend who's moving into a new place. She's trying to get settled. I stopped by to give her a hand and give her some ideas and things like that to help her get settled. So that was cool. Then on the way home, there was, you know, when you drive by and there's like a hotel and they got a big sign that says free and they have all kinds of furniture and stuff out there. So they had bedside tables and the high tables and then the low like coffee table height tables. It just had a big free sign. And there was like bunch. And I thought, ooh, she could use some of that. So I pulled over and I don't have a car as big as I used to, but in my mind, I felt like I should be able to get the same amount of stuff in there. So I was loading my car all of a sudden, here comes a minivan, then here comes a pickup truck, guy in a pickup truck's like, ooh, score. And I was like, oh man. So I gathered up the things I wanted right by my car and I had to like Tetris them in, but I won. I got them all Tetris in there. So now home, Brian's put them in the truck and we'll take them over there tomorrow. So that was cool. But then I got home and we live in a rural area. And so we don't have like a city fire department. Ours is all a local uh, volunteer fire department. So every year they have a big spaghetti feed. And so we always go to that because if our house burns down, those are the guys that are gonna show up to try to stop the fire. Which, and they're also our emergency people. Hang on, I'm gonna move. I got a little, got a little sun. Sun's going down. There we go. Anyway, um, eh, it's all right there. So. Anyway, they would do our emergency stuff too, but it's cool because we are by the sand dunes and we have a couple of what they call dune rescue vehicles and they're very cool. They're like a cross between an emergency vehicle ambulance with the big puffy dune tires. Those are cool. So we always make sure we go to that. But now here we are home and I am doing Saturday happenings. So I rambled, um, but I always like to talk about the videos I did last week and what's coming up next week. And earlier this week on Monday, I did my cornmeal mix. I have to say, that is like one of my favorite mixes. Hang on, I am gonna go get myself situated where I don't have sun in my eye. Okay, I moved. This way I can not have the sun in my eye. So anyway, I did the cornmeal mix, one of my favorite mixes. I absolutely love that mix. In fact, Yesterday for lunch, we had like beans and hot dogs and I went ahead and made the um, four corn muffin mixes real quick and they were so good. I loved them. Oops, sorry. There we are. And I loved them. I was able to just make four muffin mixes for our lunch and that was so good. Well, then on Tuesday for Pantry Cooking for Two Tuesday, I did the actual muffins. And I have to say, it's such a good recipe just on its own. It's phenomenal. But if you want to add like cheese or cheese and bacon or jalapenos or corn, you can do all that. It's like such a good base that you can do all kinds of things with it. So that was cool. So then Wednesday I did burp cloths. Now one of you was saying that they didn't know, you didn't know what P-U-L was or pull P-U-L. And it is like the rubber coated stuff that you use to make, uh, you know, like the, the, little, um, the little panties that go over cloth diapers. They're also, it's something that can be used in reusable feminine hygiene products, reusable diapers, and things like burp cloths. So I get mine, I haven't bought it in a really long time because when I did buy it, I bought like three yards and you really hardly ever use very much of it. 
but I just went to Amazon and typed in P-U-L and it comes up and you can buy it by the yard. So that's very cool. So I made burp cloths and then best day of the week was Thursday because that was the Make It March collaboration. And in the description for this video, I will put down the links to all the channels that are participating. Make It March is so cool because it's a spinoff of Canuary, which Lisa over at Sutton's Days came up with Canuary, and that's cool. And so many people ask people who are canners and preservers, like, what do you do with your food after you've done it? Well, Make It March is showing you what to do. So, so far I did uh, the um, cherry pie jello parfaits, which is just cherry pie filling that was had probably not been used as soon as it should on my pantry, so I used that. Then, this past week, I did the mango habanero wing sauce, and I followed the recipe. There's a recipe in the actual canning book for the wings. It is so good. The only thing I would add is I would probably maybe even run them through the air fryer to give them a little bit more crispy so they didn't have such a soft skin, because I like a little bit more of a crispy skin. And then the dough on plates. I love dough on. They have the best stuff. So I did a review for them because they reached out and said, hey, we got these new plates and they'll go nice with your bowls. So you want to show those? So I did. So that was my week. Now, next week, not as full, but I got some stuff coming up. Tomorrow, it's a product review, but it's so cute. Something I don't like. I won't do product reviews for something I'm not interested in or I wouldn't use. Okay. So these I was super interested in and I'm so glad I'm using them just because it's cool. So tomorrow will be a product review that's going to be fun. And then Thursday, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on Monday and Tuesday because honestly, I'm done with all the mixes that I had. So I've got mix it up Monday, but I'm not sure what's going to happen on Mondays because if I make more mixes, we're only going to be here like a month from today we're leaving to drive to Fairbanks, so I don't need more mixes. So I'm gonna to try to come up with something for Mondays, and Tuesdays I'll always do some kind of a cooking for two or, or something. But Mondays, I don't know, maybe I'll just go revisit some of the mixes and I'll use them. So Mondays is kind of a coin toss, I'm not sure. And then Thursday, another Make It March. And I know what, oh, the thing I made for that Make It March is from one of my recipes. So. The first one I did was the parfait. That was just something in my shelf. The next one was the mango habanero, and that was the recipe that I did in January. In, uh, January. Then the one this coming week is another recipe from January, and the one on the very end of the month is another. I'm using the recipe that I made in January. So that's cool. So Thursday will be that. Then, I don't know if you guys can see back there. See that? That is my, used to be my like canvas greenhouse. Oh, I'm so excited. I have to tell you. So it used to be my can canvas greenhouse and I wanted to convert it to a coop. And I did a video that's coming up this coming week for, uh, for the coop conversion that I did. And I think it's going to be perfect. But then I was stressing because I want chickens and now we're leaving in a month. If I got little babies right now, they, I wouldn't even be here when it's time for them to go out there. So who could I task with doing that? It would just be a big pain. Then I found there's a hatchery here that I can get them up until the last Tuesday of October. I can get babies. Um, but then they wouldn't come out until like winter. It'd be like December, January. It'd be too cold. So I was talking to my friend whose husband is a huge chicken guy today. She was one of the, the gals over at the workshop. And she said, well, talk to Ed and see. So I talked to him and I said, hey, will you have chickens? Because the very first chickens I ever got, I just got from Ed. And he goes, you know what, Linda, I'll go get your baby chicks and I'll raise them and you just pick them up from me when you get back. Yay! So I got eight baby chickens that Ed's going to take care of and I just appreciate it so much because then the girls can go in there. It's just going to be so great. So that's cool. Made today a super good day. So that's it. That's it for Saturday Happenings for March the 16th, 2024. And I hope you guys all had a terrific week and a great Saturday and look at our weather it is like it's sneaking up to be in a full-on spring here before you know it it's just going to be beautiful and our drive this is cool we're going to be driving from Oregon to Fairbanks Alaska it's 2700 miles or 2500 miles anyway it's going to be like seven or eight days so I'm going to get that all vloggy and ready to go and it's just 
just looking like a great summer. We're already starting. Someone's going to get my chickens. Ugh, can't wait. Anyway, there you have it. I hope you guys have a terrific Saturday and you have a terrific upcoming next week. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.